Right, welcome back to Building Dad Bod 2.0. Rack pull and upper back day. Well, the spring when I hit the last 100 pound total will be to probably get somewhere between a 465 and 470 pound deadlift. Um, I find rack pulls help with my deadlift. Just going for heavy singles here today. Last week after my deload, I was able to hit doubles at 528. But this week after doing heavy deadlifts, rack pulls, heavy squats, last week i just all i had in me was singles which was fine um then we did mcgill pull-ups we're up to eight sets with 35 pounds this week just adding a set every uh session of doing mcgills after the eight sets speed was good on the eight sets and we're just checking the body weight speed which is it was good after doing the mcgills i was happy with that then we are doing this week we're doing uh seal rows so 160 pound seal rows i'm um, here doing like a low row um, just working to drive my elbows hard towards my hips. Um, it's the way to do it for me, um, to really focus on, on the back is to just think about driving those elbows back, not to think about using the arms at all. Um, just to think of it as like an upper arm movement. And then 110 pounds, um, for high rows. So... I did three sets of low rows, and I'll do three sets of high rows to really hit the upper back hard. So basically hit straight across, shoulder to shoulder, um, all that stuff in between. I like to always incorporate some form of a low row and some form of a high row on back day. If you're not doing high rows, uh, you're really missing out. That's the stuff that you really need for uh, bench press what you got to lock in and stay stable so don't forget to hit that upper back hard with some form of a high row um, then we're doing uh supinated pull downs so obviously just did the sets of two for mcgills so want to get a little bit more volume in here so what i did was just a drop set starting at 198 pounds and then just dropping uh every set dropping 11 pounds so just did four sets um five 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 and i think the last set i maybe got like seven or something reps the goal is to hit at least 20 reps uh on this set of supinated pull downs um really like that the supinated ones are easy on my elbows um get a good contraction i'll be really happy when i get a proper seat um supposed to have shipped on october 4th and i'm still waiting for it so um Whatever they say, patience is a virtue. Uh, ordered it in July, so not super keen on how long it's taking, but at the same time, it'll get here when it gets here. Making do while we can, using the bells of steel seal rule pad kind of as a makeshift hold down. Um, as the weights get lighter, it gets it get, obviously gets way easier to get into place. Um, heavier weights is trying to basically lift me up off the floor every rep. Um, I've got to lock my knees in. I'm kind of, kind of hovering off the ground, so. Like I said, it'd be nice to get that seat, uh, be more comfortable and uh, more effective on, on when I can actually be anchored down to the seat. I won't have to use quite so much uh, momentum trying to trying to pull down and, and fight to stay on the floor at the same time. But overall, really good set there. Got a massive uh, back pump out of that. And then using the Kensui Swissies. I'm actually, I'm liking these handles. I'm um, doing some uh, low rows, low cable rows, so um, doing a full stack here on uh, on cable rows, um, trying to get in some, some heavy, uh, some more heavy movement on the back uh, for some higher reps, and then finishing off with some lap prayers. Um, really like this movement. I think I'm moving. I'm moving a little bit fast there. Key to the doing these, I, I think I slow down a bit as the set goes on. But key to these is to really resist on the way back up. Um, that's going to really engage the lats hard. You basically using your lats like a brake to uh, resist the weight. Slow it down on the way back up. That's it for the workout. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.